G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. For those that don't know us, this is Matt and I'm Caitlin and we are the Roaming Pickles. We've both taken 12 months off work to travel and we're currently in Europe. In the last video, we traveled throughout the Croatian countryside in our rental vehicle. In this episode, we travel to Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia and see what it has on offer. So come along and we hope you enjoy. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. After waking up and getting ready for a big day of travel, we were blessed with a beautiful sunrise in Croatia before heading back to Zagreb to return our rental car. We then had to catch a tram a few kilometres back to the bus station where we boarded our Flix bus that would take us to Slovenia. The bus journey took around three hours and we were very excited to be crossing over into the next country along our holiday. After arriving in the capital of Slovenia, Ljubljana, we checked into our accommodation at the Ibis Hotel, by far one of the most unique rooms that we've ever stayed in. We'll give you a quick tour. There's not much to tour. That's it. Entrance. Oh, bed. I must admit it, it is very small, the lights are changing. <laughs> but. The whole place, the reception here, it's, it's quite um, quite unique, I guess. Trendy. Yeah, trendy, I guess. The next day, we were excited to explore Ljubljana, as despite being a capital city, it seemed much less overrun than a lot of the cities we had been to already. So we set off with no real intentions for the day. We're like a minute down the street from where we're staying, and look at this cool building. It's so colourful. There's mum and dad. I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, I'll go scan. Give me a Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. So this is a 17th century Franciscan church. I think I said that right. I dare say we'll be back here tonight for the Christmas markets. You reckon, Matt? No. Nah. Stop acting like a Grinch. I think I'm feeling crook. So it's really weird. Right near the uh, square, there's one bridge. Two bridge, three bridge. It's a lot of bridges in a small space. Oh look, another bridge, 350 meters this way. Dragon bridge. <laughs> Dragon let's bridge. Look let's, at that. let's go and have a have a look. I really want to try stuff, but it's just that little bit more than I can justify spending. Three euros for candy cane. He's got a tail. What's he got? tail and very big feet. So I think that's the dragon bridge over there. We're on the wrong bridge. I see a dragon. I saw it first. No, I did. There's four dragons. One there and then two at the other end. Look, there's some ducks racing, Matt. Who's gonna win? Actually hooking, aren't they? Come on. Um, just back we passed um, our central, the central market, Yeah. which is what Matt found online that he'd like to go look at, so we might check that out. Yeah, no, not sure if we'll buy anything, but as it's not really... It's more of a local yeah. food market, I guess. Turns out mangoes are 4 99 euros each, so 5 euros per mango. You get them for probably $1 in Australia per mango. Pretty expensive here. So inside the building here at the Central Market in Ljubljana, they've got the mixture of cheeses and they've got red meat, um, pastries, all different sorts of dried fruit and, and seeds and whatever else you got to eat. Everything. Really good walking through those markets, but we'll um, go have a look at the castle now, I think. Or, I think so. or walk up the hill towards the castle at least. We may not go in, but I think we'll get a view at least up there. So. Yeah. If we're walking through Old Town Ljubljana right now, and it's you know, so picturesque. Yeah. It's all walking streets and... It's very pretty. Yeah, very quiet. You and feel pretty. very, very safe and content walking around. Yeah. L-J-U-B-L-J-A-N-A, -A, Ljubljana. Okay. 
It's a good view already. Typical walk for five minutes and that starts getting hot. Yeah. Quite a short walk, it wasn't too yeah, bad no, at all, was no, it? Yeah, easy as. And pretty good view. Again, if the sun could come out, it would just be stunning, but yeah. it's still really nice as it is. It's um, six euros if you want a return ticket for the funicular up to the castle. It's a big tram thing. Yeah, um, we opted to walk. Um, it's really not a big walk uh, by any means. And if you wanted to go for a tour inside the castle, it's 12 euro per person or per adult. But we're, um, we're going to give that a miss. We've seen a few castles and we're going to just walk around this little park area up here anyway. It's a bit hard to see through the glass here, but this is a man-powered um, wagon wheel, tread wheel, well. There you go. Yeah, man-powered man tread wheel well. So they only discovered it in the 19th century, but it was believed to have probably been originated in Roman times. little fitness trail down in there. Do you want to go do a workout? No. Oh, we could burn off that bakery feed we had this morning. Already have. <laughs> Spooky. With no leaves on the trees, plus the overcast day, it's... And the moss all over the trees. Yeah, it actually makes it look a bit spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. What's, what do I you can, do? Hop between the... I can hop over the logs. Look, I can lay down. <laughs> I can't do you that. Can't do that bit. Oh, I, I can do that. I can lift a log. Mm, I don't even know I what that what's is. Happening there. All right, just give it a crack. Nailed it. Told you I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> You have terrible form. <laughs> nice. Pretty good. So, you're so strong. Have you seen my biceps? <sighs> Matt claims he's going to climb the rope. Do you reckon it's easy to do little bits? Like rub them. Just, you're going to have to find out. If you stretch your legs out, you, you can nearly touch the ground. <laughs> you can jump okay. that high. That tree is very green. The moss is mostly on the top side. The underside's really dark still. After wandering around the city for a few hours, we decided to head home for a cheap lunch in the hostel before heading out to the Christmas markets later that night. All right, time to check out these markets at night, I reckon. All right. Let's go. Ooh la la, pretty. We're going to walk down to this bridge because it looks fancy on the drawing. <laughs> cross it, come back along, have dinner in here somewhere. Cross the, cross the Dragon Bridge and then come back along. A different street. Another street to get home. Sounds good. So far at one end of the river, it's really busy, but I'm not convinced that it's because of the Christmas markets. I feel like it's just busy like this all the time, probably. I think once we go back the other way, we'll get all the stalls and stuff for Christmas specifically. We gradually made our way back up the river and found some Christmas food markets where we decided to have dinner. I'm gonna get a Sevat peachy in bun for 13 euros. And we're, Matt's getting a Krenska sausage for eight. And we're also going to get, where are they? Egg, egg liqueur. Bombardino. Bombardino for four euro. I think that's it there. Here's Matt's, do you want to lift up your meat? Matt's Krenska sausage. Yep. It ended up being 10 euros. Yeah, they stitched us up. Matt wasn't very happy about it. Blowing up about it. And my Chef Kapiki something or other. Oh, I hate the sausages. It said egg liqueur, so I thought I'd give it a go and that's what I got. It's yellow, so well, yeah. See how it goes. 
What do you think? Oh. It's sweet, isn't it? It's strong. Yeah. It's sort of like eggnog, I think, with yeah, some sort of alcohol in it. Very strong. Not a fan? Oh, I'm glad I only got that size cup. It was $4.50 for that cup. Yeah. It's expensive. Very expensive. So, um, it sounds like John and Lorraine's meal ended up being a lot more than they thought as well. So I think overall, maybe we got a little bit ripped off, which is a bit disappointing. Yeah. It takes the fun away, that's for sure. Yeah. And you know, you, like for us, for example, you blatantly could see the price on the pricing uh, menu and he charges more and you question him and he just fobs you off. And In our, our mistake though, was we paid the amount before we realized that it was higher. It's not until we got the receipt that we went, hang on a minute, that doesn't add up. But but um, you shouldn't have to get to that situation, is yeah. my opinion. You, you shouldn't have to. Nice walking around the city though. Yeah, it's still Whether really. Whether you're here for the markets or not, it's, it's still a really nice walk. It's still really nice. I guess just our dining out experience has taken the fun Probably away a little bit. Probably put a little bit. damper yeah. on it, yeah. But um, anyway, we'll cross the river back to the other side and make our way back down and probably call it a night soon. Yeah. These are quite um, interesting, I guess you'd call it, the light displays. I'm gonna hope that they're like a meteorite or something, but I don't know, I'll leave that up to you to decide. I watch you as you drive, do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile, do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here together if I could stop the time don't you know